Hey guys, this is my Frost Theory. I will leave a link in the description below. Um, so, yeah, it's by Adam. And, um, first episode starts with Adam just walking around. And I think he bursts into a house. It might be his own. But he, he holds it at gunpoint like someone is in there. Uh, three weeks before that, there is a fight going on for food. Because there is a virus. And it's destroying everything. It's like the zombie apocalypse. So, um, we're all fighting for food. Me, uh, Adam... Adam's being mean because I got shot, um, and he wants my gun, um, and Ethan shot me, and I ran away, away, and he gets, he gets the food, and there's something, which is, the bombs dropped, which was to take away the virus, but, um, so, Adam holds me at gunpoint, um, as I try to come in. I don't know if I actually get in, or if I stay outside, but, um, the bombs drop, and now there's snow everywhere today. That's just the beginning of that of the first episode. So then, episode two. There are narrations, shots of the city, and shots of mountains. Uh, and the snow everywhere because of the cry bombs. So um, he's just walking around, and he explains that there are things that want to kill you. And not just the weather. Also, the people with the virus and all that fun stuff. And then there's um, what I think is the military base, which is actually a very big plot point. Um, in this first episode, and in the, I mean the first season. So, um, yeah, and there's more shots of it. And I'm pretty sure there's a, and there's a person, and I don't know if it's intentional, as you can see by the red circle, but, yeah. So, Adam explains that he is here because, um, because he wants to know what's in the military base. Either it's people with the virus, he knows that they're trying to hide something. Um, either it's something to do with virus or something to do with cry bombs, anything. They are hiding something, and he knows it. Um, so he explains, uh, good luck trying to press the river, it's, the bridge has been blown. And he, and this is where he explains that there's probably something hidden. And I think that is someone infected with the virus. Um, and the cryobombs probably hit this, causing it to crash. And then he bursts into his own home at gunpoint. It clearly is his own home because he seems to know where everything is that he is. He prepares, um... So he runs in, and he grabs a whole bunch of supplies, and uh, he gets some uh, some string, which he actually doesn't use. And he just decides to, hey, scrap that. So um, he gets a whole bunch of gear, which includes a freaking axe, which he actually doesn't use. Um, and that's a uh, nice, all that fun stuff. And he gets a propane tank, and he actually does use this. And then um, the next shot, he looks kind of high. But he is getting the, he's bringing the propane tank, to, and then he shoots it, and it causes it to explode. And I think that looks like a face, just me. Um, but yeah, so he brings his gun, and his axe, cool, and uh, he just kind of wanders around in the base. Um, and he doesn't really find anything special, except he finds food! Yeah, that's nice, and it's swinging on his face an awful bunch. But, um... So, yeah, he explains that he, what he found in that base that day blew everything else out of the water. Um, so, uh, yeah, next, um, and this, I think, is infected by the virus. I don't know what it is, um, but it is chasing Adam. It probably wants something from him. Maybe it just wants him for meat um, or something. So Adam hides in a car, and um, so, yeah. And then, um, the car looks pretty undrivable because there's snow all over it. And am I the only one that thinks, uh, something should just go boo right here? I don't know, whatever. So, he starts up the car, but the car is actually never mentioned ever again in the entire episode. Like, in the entire series, it's not mentioned. Again, but, so he runs for the door, um, and then, um, this thing ain't having any of that, so... He, um, pretty much just, like, bangs on the ground, and, um, Adam runs for the hills. Actually, he just runs from the back door. And I guess he actually does end up in the back door, and I think this is his own house. Um, anyways, I will be a moment. Okay, so I'm back, um, and yeah, 74 hours earlier, Adam is in the military base, and he's tapping on this, and I, I really, I don't know why, but he is, um, and this weird TV turns on, and... This TV, I think, is actually really important, um, and yeah, it comes in later, and I will talk more about it as this comes, um, and I think it's actually just a robot, but 
Adam um, just walks around, and uh, yeah, he's just pointing his gun, and I think that TV has, like, a physical form, and, like, uh, he can just, like, he can go around between bots. Like, he has, like, an AI. It can go through multiple things. I think it controls everything because it closed this door behind Adam. Um, and, yeah, so he's, like, trying to say, like, where are you? And whatever this robot or virus thingy, it, it kills someone. And, here, and, here it is. and uh, Adam tries to pick up the hand, and it's too gross, so he doesn't. Um, and then I think this is the first person shot of either the robot or, like, some thing maybe with the virus. I don't know. And this is another first person shot. And, um, he, and then he shoots at it. And I think this is actually very important. And I will talk about that when I go to the theorizing section-ish, like, at the end of the video. Um, and so, yeah, he trips like a dumbass. Um, and so he finally escapes and sees the outside world. And some unin, unin, just cryobombed places, uh, and he pretty much loses all of his stuff. He escapes, but he doesn't. He doesn't have anything left. But he finds some valuable information, which will help him survive. So he goes back to his house, um, and he gets like a USB thing, which is probably the information that he wants to survive. Next, um, and this I think is the robot. Um, the uh, the robot trying to talk to him and saying that it burnt him. Uh, it burnt wh whoever he is and it burnt his gun and um, yeah and it burnt the thing so he can't shoot as you can see the burn marks and he is has a bullet which it gave to him for some reason and he's just trying to escape and it doesn't work and he explains that it's all for revenge so um, yeah um, a few hours ago for that uh, running shots, and then me just kind of walking around, and then um, Ethan just kind of like walks around behind me. I don't know what he's doing, but he he wants me dead, I think. So I shoot at him and I miss, and he runs away. Um, so yeah, he uh, goes in the other direction, um, and I don't know what he actually uh, goes to in the other direction. Um, so I just kind of walk to him and I eat some snow um, while I'm going toward him. Um, so yeah, I, I think I want him dead. I'm pretty sure that's what was going on. So um, yeah, and then he shoots me and I try to shoot back, but I couldn't. I don't remember why, but um, he kicks my gun and I am pretty much useless. So then um, Adam comes and he tries to shoot him up. So uh, I guess as my health bar um, increases, um, I get my gun, and then uh, Adam chases Ethan, and um, that is all wonderful, and I'm not so nice back, but so I walk, and this is where it gets weird, so I'm just like walking uh, in the alley, and then Ethan follows me in the same direction as the beginning of the episode, <sighs> mind blown, but I don't know what it means, three minutes ago, like three minutes before all that stuff happened, not before the scene, whatever. So Adam is just running, and then he finds his new coat, and um, I messed up with the editing, but um, yeah. So he gets his coat, um, and he also gets a fancy schmancy new gun, and uh, yeah, he decides to shoot things up. And so he just kind of uh, walks, because he hears something, and he ain't having any of that. And then he sees um, me getting destroyed by Ethan. Um, and he just, and Adam decides to shoot him up, uh, like earlier in the episode. And then he finds uh, his gun back in the beginning of the episode, and he um, shoots, and he gets his way out. But he gets zapped. Cool. Um, so now time for theorizing. Um, so Adam uh, said that there was, like, some virus, and um, I don't know what this virus does. I think it just slowly kills you. But it might make you hostile toward other people, like, maybe like a zombie infection. I don't know. And I think that's what this weird, abominable snowman-looking thing is. I, I really don't know. So, what they used uh, is cryobombs to stop this is from happening. Because um, um, viruses are a problem, so it covers everything in snow. And it, it, it probably kills quite a few people. 
and uh, it and I'm pretty sure that's what makes this thing crash. They get hit. It gets hit by the crab bombs and it falls. That's what makes everything hostile because um, it doesn't like it. Now this TV thing. I think it's like a robot, and it says that um, like you um, you burn me, I burn you. Uh, like I burn your gun, um, and then and I think it's because Adam shot either the robot or something really close to the robot and it burned him. Um, and that's why it wants revenge. Um, so, uh, yeah, cool. Um, I think that's it for my theory, except I really don't know what this thing is. Either it's a swing shot or a cannon. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, there will be, uh, it will be in the description below the series. So, bye-bye!